Hey guys, this is Jamin. This is my channel PC Monkey, where I try to bring you a wide variety of do-it-yourself computer upgrade and repair videos. In this video, guys, I'm going to show you how to remove or delete your Microsoft account from your computer. A couple things before we get going, guys. First, please remember to like, share, subscribe if this was helpful. If you want to support the channel a little more, a super thanks is always appreciated. Even a couple bucks goes a long way to me being on hand as often as possible for questions and comments. If you do have to leave me a question, guys, check out the FAQs below in the description first. It could save you some time. If it's not there and you leave me a question, I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. Second and lastly, a quick shout out to my sponsor, NiceHash. NiceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. What that means for you is you can now rent out your computer's unused power to crypto miners online and you get paid for that in Bitcoin. It's a great way to earn some side money. It's a great way to put your computer to work. Check out this link above, or I'll have some more information about them at the end of my video. Now let's get into the project. Okay, so here I am at my desktop. This is actually fairly simple, guys. You're gonna go down to your Start button, click on that, and you're gonna click on Settings. Mine's up here in the top right, Settings. Click on that. On this screen, on the left-hand menu, scroll down about halfway, it says Accounts. We're gonna click on that. We're going to go over here to the right, click on your info, right down there. Again, halfway down, it says sign in with a local account instead. We're going to click on that. Some of you may get this info message, some may not. I'm just going to hit skip. And then it's going to ask you to double check. Are you sure you want to switch to a local account? And I'm going to hit next. Now to make sure that it's me, it's going to have you enter your PIN. Okay, so now that you're removing your Microsoft account, it wants to know what to call your computer now. So I'm working on a Dell computer, so just for an example, I'll put Dell in here. Uh, I'm not going to put a password, so I'm just going to hit next. And then again, it asks you to confirm, sign out, and finish. I'll click on that. All right, so it brought me back to my desktop. Some of you may still have to enter that pin, some of you won't. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit sign in. So for me, it didn't have me re-enter that pin. Um, if it does have you re-enter your former pin, I'll show you how to take it off right now. You're gonna go back to the start menu. We're gonna go back to settings again. And then just like last time, we're gonna come down here on the left, we're gonna hit accounts again. And then scroll down a little and you'll see sign in options here. We're going to click on that. And then see where it says pin? We're going to click on that. So those of you that did have to sign in with a pin, you'd see this option activated. You would deactivate it here. Um, as you saw with me, it didn't have me do it. So it's not an option for me, but that is how you would stop that from asking for a, a pin. So there you go guys, fairly easy. That's how you would unhook or delete the Microsoft account from your computer. Uh, please feel free again to like, share, subscribe if it was helpful. Super thanks are always appreciated. And now as promised, a little more info on my sponsor NiceHash. So as mentioned before guys, NiceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. And again, what that means is you can rent out your computer's unused power to people online who mine cryptocurrency and they pay you for that power in Bitcoin. It's a great way to earn some money on the side with no extra work. It's a great way to start investigating the world of crypto with no additional investment. Uh, you already own the computer. You've already purchased its power. It's just sitting there, not being used. And most of us do own computers much more powerful than anything we use day to day. So it's a great idea to uh, do this. You can check them out here on the link or leave me a question or comment below and I'll see if I can help you out. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.